And that brings us to our next guest, Jeff Judkins, head basketball coach at BYU Women's Hoops, a seven seed in the NCAA tournament, and a man currently who has a smile on his face, but that was not the case at the <laughs> moment your team was announced yesterday, Coach. I know. I didn't realize. Uh, I guess I was pretty nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, they're all excited. I, I mean, we're, we're at the end, and I'm thinking, you know, we've been, we've been hosed before in my 15 years, and I thought, you know, are we going to get hosed again? And knowing what's going on, and, boy, it's a good picture. You tell them really, <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really seriously into what I'm thinking that is. Don't worry, it's on the homepage of BYUcougars.com yeah, right now, too. I'm sure it is, but uh, <laughs> that's just what it was. I was going like, what is going on? Why are we not picked earlier? And, and uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of stress. I, people don't realize that. You've, you've had a great year. You go in the tournament, and you outplay the, the team for 38 minutes, and then you make some mistakes, which you haven't made all year, and you lose a game to a team that you know you're better than, and everybody else in the league is mad because they were better than them too, and they go to the NCAA tournament. And then you got to wait all this time to find out, what, you know, what you're doing and what's going on. And you hear this and hear that, and so that's kind of probably what it built it up for me. But I am happy. I think it's a great matchup. Um, you know, Dan has has gotten film. I'll be watching it like crazy today and tomorrow, and said, hey, they're a team that we match up well with Missouri. So I'm excited. Austin is a great city. I think if I could have picked one other place, I would have picked going to UCLA because we had so much success two years ago. But this is probably second if I had to pick. I think with the fan, we'll have some good fans down there, I think. A lot of, a lot of good fans down there in Texas. And Dan, Dan Nilsson, my assistant, he's from there. So his family's really excited. And he promised me he'd take me to a good barbecue place. So <laughs> of course. We'll, 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 we'll find out. But, we, but, you know, but I'm really happy. It, it's a great thing. We couldn't tell from the photo, but we, we want to uh, break down all of that. But what we want to do right now is give you an opportunity to maybe maybe change that moment. So we want to reenact that moment, and then you can react however you want. Because I think you're not nervous now. <laughs> you know the result. So I, I'd, like, I'd like Spencer to be kind of the announcer. The and then here. you can react however okay. you want, okay? okay? Into this camera over here. In the lower part of the bracket, the seven seed BYU Cougars. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was that, worth was, it. that was way more than I thought. That was worth it, you, man. You were more excited, like positive excitement, not yelling at the refs, right there than you were all season, right? Well, because I am happy, and I more than the buzzer beater yeah, almost. With yeah, San no, the buzzer beater was pretty up there. <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, a coach has ups and downs in their lives. Um, I try to show emotion, especially when I'm coaching. Probably more than I do just hanging out. You know. I want my team to know that I'm excited for how they're doing and how they're playing, and um, so, you know, I am. I'm, not, I'm really. I'm. I'm happy for the seniors. I mean, people said three straight NCA bids for us, which is you know how hard it is. You're hearing Mark Few say, That's "Hey, this league, we get one team." It's how it works. Um, and then four out of five, and probably. Probably the time we didn't get in, we probably got host. I mean, that's when Lexi tore ACL. Jen only played – she missed 10 of our 30 games, Jen Hampson, and we were right there in the running. We end up losing to Gonzaga in the semis. But, you know, it's it's tough. This, this mid-major stuff, it's hard. People don't realize that you've got to be perfect. you got to play – I mean, I, I mean I, you guys probably heard this. I'm not a big – but I heard that five of the 32 – bids in the men's side and on the women's is worse five of the 32 conference champ won the tournament that's it i mean that's, that's amazing that and i know i know now kansas north carolina and oregon are the three big ones that i know that did it and yukon and yeah and you know well, i'm saying with they the were, guys they were like a and kentucky oh, that's true, yeah. that's true, and kentucky yeah. that's it yeah i mean so yeah what i'm trying to get at is it's tough yeah it's not it's not the fair i mean you see Riverside in the women's won the league by five games oh. and they lost in the championship game to Hawaii who we played. And you know, what's really nice. I look at these teams. We play Georgia, Oklahoma, Colorado state, Texas A&M. Hawaii, Texas A&M. Five teams in the tournament. Yeah. That's, that's why we had a good RPI. That's the reason. And hopefully we can do it next year. We're trying to schedule same kind of schedule. 
Do you, are you suggesting that maybe uh, team, uh, conferences should lose the conference tournament? Just reg champ, you're, you're in or not? Because that's a bigger tournament to me, an 18-game tournament. Well, you know what happens? The tournament gets more pub winning it. I mean, we've done it. We've won the conference now. We've won the tournament. You seem to get more pub winning the tournament because it's the end of the year and you know you're going to get in. If I remember a long time ago when I coached with Coach Pajaris, he hated that tournament, and I know why he does. When you win the conference and you've had a great season, it's hard to go play another tournament and try to do it. I understand that. Uh, I had a nice conversation with my family. He said, look, the reason they do the tournament is to keep teams in the hunt. When you, when you get out of it and you're nine games out of first place, what do you have to play for? Well, the tournament. And I, I can see that. But you imagine this. What if the big conferences did with the mid-majors and they said, you only get two teams in your conference. Oh, it would you change You get a in conference hurry. champion and a tournament. They would change very, very quickly. Jeff Judkins, the head basketball coach of BYU Women's Hoops, the coach of the year in the WCC, is joining us on BYU Sports Nation. I know you already have your lucky tie picked out for Saturday's game, right? I have my lucky tie and my lucky suit against against uh, San Francisco. So you got to switch and, it up? And, and I'm going to tell you right now, you're, you're my hot seat because you have, you have not seen us lose. So we got to find some way of getting you down this tournament. <laughs> um, my wife was the sure thing, but she went to the tournament and we lost to San Francisco. But, um, yeah, I'm going to pull it all out. I mean, the main thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare my team and I'm going to get my team ready for this game. And I know, I know Lexi really wants to play better than what she did against San Francisco. And I know some other players feel the same way. And I'm really happy for those seniors. I mean, Kai was next to me. You can see how excited she was. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a great career she's had at BYU and what she's done for this program. Look at all the Y connections we got just from her. Alohi, Jasmine, we're recruiting another kid from Hawaii a couple of years from now. There's a lot of good players out of that state, and hopefully we'll, we'll continue it. Can we start a GoFundMe to get me to Austin? I'd really appreciate that. you got to call baseball this weekend. Hey, that's true. I do need to do that. <laughs> no, no, Coach. We want to get you out of that. I'm going to have to figure something <laughs> get, out. Get Taysom Hill in that second round game against Texas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Coach, great to talk to you. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, guys. It was a fun year. And, hey, cheer us on. we got a great opportunity. Big Congrats. audience for BYU women's basketball.